Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So we're going to go Speedy Gonzales today, painting a really quick and beautiful um, <laughs> Black Eyed Susan tutorial. We're going to use some pencils here. We're going to use some paint. We're going to talk about just going fast and um, using just simple techniques to create a really kind of fun, energetic, intuitive painting of Black Eyed Susans. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. These are the lovely Black Eyed Susans on the side of my yard. These are the ones I picked so we could start painting our lovely tutorial. There's so many, so many of them, so vibrant. I love this time of year when they all come out. So let's have fun. So for this really quick um, painting, I'll just go over some supplies that I have. I have this fountain pen. I have a link to this into my Amazon shop. And I use Noodler's ink in it. So it's waterproof. So you can draw with it and then paint over it or you know, white, vice versa without it bleeding black everywhere. Obviously my paints, paper towels, I'll be using my Princeton 12 Neptune series. Maybe grab the Princeton uh, 8 long round. I've got some colored pencils here to play with. We're going to have a lot of fun just playing today. Um, and of course, the Black Eyed Susans. These are from my yard. I, told you, I showed you the video that I took. Um, you know, these ones kind of had their, <laughs> they had their shine and they're going away, but you get the point of like, they're curling under where they're they're dying and kind of go out a little bit more when they're not. So and I have a, just a plain old mechanical pencil here. I like to do things as in the photograph as you saw, um, either left or right or some kind of movement. You don't even have to like draw them out, but you could. So I'll just take this mechanical pencil. I'll make some lines here going down here and you can draw a few. See a little bump head, almost look like a gumdrop and just the leaves really kind of loose like that. Same thing here. And we can paint that too as well. And it's also fun to play with the pencils. So these are watercolor pencils. You just kind of go like this and make the leaves just really rough. This can go really fast or slow, however you want, however you want to do this. See the pencils, and then of course for the little top of the gumdrop part. See, I'm just kind of scribbling in that, and of course the green for the stem. Those are just simple black-eyed Susans. The leaves we can worry about by painting them. But see, it's kind of fun to play with the pencils, just sketching out the leaves. You see how I'm doing this, and the Black Eyed Susans themselves. So you can work with just pencils in the beginning. See if you're just going to map out where they're going to go. Big, small, clustered, kind of next to each other. And then go play with the colored pencils. See, I'm just kind of wiggling that color in there. There's no particular, you know, serious <laughs> kind of drawing. You get the idea what it looks like. You see what they look like and then the leaf. So we pull this down, kind of go out with the leaves. Now, if you're not used to drawing, you should try and get used to drawing. It really, it will help you a lot when you're doing watercolor. And I'll go in here and add another one. We are gonna paint too, by the way. But it's kind of fun to play with just starting out with drawing. Drawing these lovely things in first. And I will be using my ink pen here. Just play with drawing with the watercolor pencils. This is a great thing, to, a great tool to have. If you don't have the water and the paintbrush with you, you just like to draw, bring a bunch of uh, watercolor pencils with you like if you're traveling. And then when you come back, you can go in and fill everything in with the watercolor itself. Just like to make a bunch of leaves, straggle, stems. See that has a nice movement to it. Really simple, quick sketch. So it's a gumdrop shape for the top of it, right? Then you know, you, you. I think most people can draw simple daisy petals here. And then a stem with a simple leaf. I kind of make mine go up and over and I'm gonna paint it too. So let's put those away for now. I'm gonna loosen up my paintbrush with some water. And let's see what happens when we activate all this loveliness. Just putting water on it. 
I'm not doing anything special. I just grab some water on my big old brush and I'm just kind of moving that around. Notice how I'm doing the yellow first. I don't want to hit that black just yet. You can still see the remnants of the pencil left behind, which is kind of cool. We don't want to erase it too much. And then we'll do the greens. Let's kind of just activate that. Again, just clear water with my brush, moving it along. You can kind of fill that in. I still see the lines there. It's kind of fun to play with. I'm gonna activate this. And then I do the black at the end, right? You don't want it bleeding into making a whole muddy mess. There's one way to tackle some lovely uh, Black Eyed Susans in watercolor, simple, right? And then you, you can take that to another level and grab some Ultramine Blue Deep excuse me, <laughs> cadmium yellow deep. It is Friday. If you want to grab a little bit of orange, this is brilliant orange. We can start to play with putting in some color here intuitively. See, now if we paint it, it'll just kind of go like this. Lines kind of going like this, creeping. Do you see that movement? We can paint over this when it dries too. We're doing a nice whole bushel of these guys. So it's just like this with the paintbrush. One, two, three, four, five. Kind of on its side. And they could be big or small. Just like that. Just taking the brush one. I don't have to count them, but see how I'm just moving like that? Add a little orange if you want. Change the color up a little bit. A little brown has some burnt sienna right they could be like fading out to the distance and we'll add some more in here so now we have a nice cluster of them and they're more intense in color than the the watercolor pencils but I'm just showing you different ways to play with black-eyed Susans just a simple little cluster of them. I'll keep the yellow there a little bit. I'll grab my Prussian blue. We've got our green. That's a pretty deep color. I'll add a little more yellow over here for a lighter color. And we'll grab some water. We'll start playing with some leaves. So here, you kind of flick your brush. You push it down and flick it. And flick it the other way. You see how I flick that? Flick it. And you get some really kind of loose fun leaves going in here. So we've got a lot of techniques. I like to really just gently touch the paper and flick the brush, pull it down. You can do like a little bend. See how I did that? Oop. And let the paper, I'm sorry, I didn't talk about my paper. It's Fabriano's 100% Cotton Cold Press. I'm not using hot press, I'm using cold press. I'm just See, I'm just flicking and we don't have stems here. We need to pull it down. Get those stems kind of going downward. Can't have floating flowers, it would not <laughs> make sense. And that's floating down and then we can go flick. Right, and then we have some darker green here happening. This is a real fast five minute floral. Getting some more darker blue greens happening in here. Now it makes it yellow pop. Some stems out that way. Really super fast and fun. Kind of dark green. That little leaf got kind of crazy. But you're having fun. You're playing with watercolors. What I want this name of the game for me. Um, clean up my brush a little bit. Get some lighter green. Adding more yellow. There's a little bit more water. I'm just flicking up some grasses. Kind of in here. 
you can play with getting a lot of water on your brush. You can splatter it a little bit, the green. Down where the stems are. Look how pretty that looks. You can see you're adding more interest to the painting, going back and adding some more greens. Really simple, 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 simple. You can also just go in and add just color too. Um, ultimate blue. I mean, this is a Prussian blue. No one says you have to be green, green, green. Add some blue. Look at that. A little bit more interest going in there. And of course, we need to finish our little gumdrop tops. So I'll just grab whatever brown. I have a uh, burnt umber. You can have ultimate blue and burnt sienna. Make like a nice black bluish color. Oops. And just go put those little gumdrop tops on. You can finish up the ones we did with the pencil. They don't look dark enough. And go and add. I'm just making a little teeny top gumdrops. If you want to make it a little thicker and darker, add more paint. There we go. Really quick, but really effective, really pretty. Black Eyed Susans. Don't make your life so complicated. Just have fun. See, little gumdrops. Isn't that cute? Now the yellow is looking kind of boring on all of them. I will go back in a little bit, enhance it. They're all the same kind of yellow. Maybe add that orangey yellow to this. So go back in some of these and just give it a little bit more life. Add another shade of yellow, maybe a little bit more orange in it. It's just gonna give it some life. And I think we should splatter some yellow as well. And then we're kind of finished. It's a really a five second tutorial on just getting loose with your paintbrushes, using some pencils, really sweet. So we get this now loose and let's do the same thing. Splatter. Really quick, kind of looking like soldiery. So I'm going to go add another color. Let me some red, some little bit of orange. Twist my paper a little bit. Concentrate some of it over there. You can play with spraying it a little bit. I don't want to bleed too much. Ooh, spray bottle. And that's going to change it again. Now I don't want the black to go too crazy. I could tap it with the paper towel. That did change this whole section, didn't it? Experiment with some of the tools you have. Spraying over here. Let it bleed down a little bit. It's not going to bleed if there's no water there, so you're going to add some water. If you don't like that, you can kind of lift it. It's kind of fun to play with things. That got changed all in there, and this did too. It wasn't these soldier little petals we have? We want to enhance our Black Eyed Susan, give it some movement, some life. Have some fun with it. So, and I'll go back and there's one little dot I forgot right in here. <laughs> See how quick that was? So I hope you enjoyed this really quick way to get out of the doldrums. Just experiment, play with, I didn't even use this yet. I was gonna use this, but I didn't. I think it looks fine without it. I don't think we needed it. And it has a lot of, you know, energy and movement to it. It's really intuitive painting. Um, I splattered a lot up here. I don't know if I would do that next time. Maybe these ones need a little bit more up here. So it doesn't look the same as that one, a little thicker. Yeah. Play with it, enhance it, move it around, have fun with it. So let me know your thoughts on just painting real quick and real fast. This is the way you should do it, really quick and fast, and then you can be surprised the results. Usually it comes out phenomenal. <laughs> it's rare it comes out bad. Some people say it comes out bad, but no, I don't think so. so. I hope you're having a great summer. I hope you're having spending some time with family and friends and just enjoying a little bit of life 
um, you know, it's fleeting, so enjoy every moment of it and have some fun painting. So if you like my fun tutorials, check out my uh, Patreon. Link is in the description box where I have more extensive one. I just did a, a bridge house on Booth Bay Harbor, Maine. It's really kind of cute. So go check it out. You can join and cancel anytime. And I really appreciate it. It's where you support my channel here on YouTube. So happy painting. Go crazy. Paint some lovely black-eyed Susans. And get out of the doldrums. Take care, guys. And I'll speak to you soon.